so I picked up this bar cart from Goodwill a few years ago for just ten dollars. It was brown, but I painted it silver, added some mirrors, and a little diamond wrap. To see how I turned this into a hot apple cider bar cart for the fall season, keep watching. Since I already have coffee in the kitchen and a full beverage bar in my bedroom, I thought it would be fun to do something different in this little corner of the dining room. My inspiration to do this came from these beautiful ceramic apples from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you two different ways to style this bar cart. First I'll show you the layers and then I'll zoom in so that you can have a closer look. I love hot caramel apple cider. It reminds me of picking apples at the farm and farmhouse decor. I really like farmhouse decor, but this year I wanted the style to have a more glamorous look. So far, this is how the top shelf looks. I'm using the original colors of the apples as the color scheme for the whole bar cart. I've added berries, succulents, and green foliage as fillers to the tiered tray. Even the packaging of the whipped cream and the other treats coordinate well with the decor. I should also mention that most everything on the cart, including the cart, is either from the Dollar Tree or the thrift store. Since apple cider can be served hot or chilled, I have decorative ice cubes in a jar from Amazon. Now let me show you how I style the bottom shelf. Now let's have a closer look. The shaker is here on the bottom shelf in case you want to turn your apple cider into an apple teeny. The recipe to do that is right here on the side of the shaker. The reusable silver metal straws are from Amazon. They even come packaged with this little sack for dirty straws. These are the brushes used to clean the straws. For treats, I found these raisin and apple fruit-filled biscuits. Thank you. 
You could also use these toaster strudel pastries. Apple flavor, of course. Not everything has to be apples. Some things just pair well with apples, like chocolate. A candle in a cloche is nice for ambiance. You get that nice warm glow when the lights are down low. Another treat I like to eat with apples are assorted nuts and nut butters. I found these fancy flavors at Kroger. If you're enjoying this video so far, scroll down and remember to give this video a thumbs up. Now I'm going to switch things up a bit and show you another way to style this apple cider bar with a slightly different color scheme. But before I do that, let me share this quick recipe on how to make apple cider from scratch. I'm using a combination of sweet red Macintosh apples and tart green Granny Smith apples. First things first is to peel off the stickers and give the apples a really good wash. I'll be using about eight total apples for this recipe. Next, I'll slice all the apples into some chunks. You don't even have to worry about de-seeding them or taking off the stems or the core because in the end, everything will go through a strainer. Then load the apples into a stock pot to cook for about two hours. You could use a crock pot, which would take a lot longer. Either way it goes, both methods will smell up your house and it will be amazing. Cover the apples completely with water and add one cup of brown sugar. I like to add vanilla extract. If you're using imitation vanilla, you'll need a little extra. For spices, I'll press down some cinnamon sticks into the water. Some people will use some cheesecloth to make a spice bundle, but since I'm going to be straining this all at the end, it really doesn't matter. And finally, I have some whole clove. I'll also add some ginger for a little extra spice and some nutmeg. Cover with a lid, bring it to a boil, then let it simmer for a couple of hours. I'll use a piece of cheesecloth over a strainer in a fresh pot. Then I pour in the hot cooked apples and use a potato masher to squeeze out all of the cider juice. For reference, eight apples makes about two quarts of cider.
In full disclosure, this is the first time I have ever made this from scratch and it is delicious. I would definitely do it again. Normally, I would use these packets or some K-cups, but now I'm hooked on the way it makes my house smell when I make it from scratch. Let me get back to the second styling of our apple cider bar cart. This scripture was my inspiration for this design. Like apples of gold and silver carvings is a word spoken at the right time. Proverbs 25, 11. These are those same dollar store apples that I spray painted gold. And these golden apples are the real thing, caramel covered apples. In place of silver spoons, gold straws. I removed the red napkins and replaced them with these white marble coasters trimmed in gold. Here's an overall look of the entire apple cider bar with the lights down low. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which style you preferred better. Did you like the full color of the original apples? Or do you like the second look with apples of gold and silver carvings? I'd love to hear from you and whether or not you'll try this for your bar cart. Happy fall everyone! Come back and see me next week. I post new videos every week on decorating, event planning, and lifestyle. I'm Steph Storm and you'll see me next time.